Hi, I'm Phoebe McDowell, Acting Beauty Director at Sunday Time Style, and I'm joined today by consultant dermatologist Dr. Emma Wedgworth, and we are talking about menopausal skin. So Sue, who is 52, has written in to say that she's currently going through perimenopause and she's noticed some changes in her skin, from dryness and irritation to sensitivity and even acne. Her friend has recommended HRT, but she doesn't know whether it's right for her. And she's also seen lots of lines, especially for menopausal skin, but she's wondering if they're worth the money. So menopause is the biggest thing that has happened to women's skin since puberty. It's actually a huge event because what happens during menopause is that your estrogen levels start to decline. And estrogen is really impactful on all different cell types within the skin. So going from the outside down, you see a lot of dryness and sensitivity, you lose water holding molecules within the skin, and then your collagen levels start to drop significantly, and that's why people start to notice more lines and wrinkles. It can become more sensitive, the hormonal fluctuations can also mean you break out. So I can totally understand where Sue is coming from. What kind of products would you recommend for someone like Sue? Okay, so the first thing I always do in people that have menopausal skin is to strip back and make sure that I'm really hydrating because I think dryness and sensitivity is one of the biggest issues that I see in menopausal skin. So find a really nice gentle cream or oil-based cleanser, um, avoid anything harsh and stripping, and then a really lovely rich moisturizer. So things like the Delicate Skin Recovery Cream by Kate Somerville, Curel Intensive Moisture Cream, those are really nice rich textures. And what ingredients should people avoid, if any? So I would definitely avoid physical exfoliants mm -hmm. because I think the skin's become quite delicate. What it doesn't need is to harshly scrub the skin. I would avoid alcohol-based toners because I think those are really quite harsh as well. Um, instead, once you've got the hydration in your skincare routine, then you can think about things like gentle retinoids to try and help repair and really boost your collagen fibers within that. What are some products and some brands that you like in this space? So I really like Curel because this is a Japanese brand which contains a lot of ceramides. Now ceramides are a natural part of our skin barrier. And as we get older, we lose those sort of lipid holding molecules, which enable our skin to hold moisture in. And so replenishing ceramides is a really important part of menopausal skincare. Then I've got some sunscreen here. Now, as we get towards menopause, our skin loses some of its natural repair mechanisms. So it is more susceptible to environmental damage. So wearing a high SPF, broad spectrum every day is really important. Um, and I've chosen the Flawless Gossamer by Dr. Sam, which is actually a mineral sunscreen, so really good for sensitive skin. Antioxidant serums can be great as well. So I love the Serum 10 by SkinCeuticals. That can be really helpful because that really helps to protect against environmental damage. Then I've got some of this um, Emmapel serum. This is perhaps for people who can't take HRT but want to try and mimic the effect of estrogen on their skin. So this contains something called SERMs or selective estrogen receptor modulators, which actually help to try and mimic the effect of estrogen without any of the internal side effects of HRT. And then a really nice gentle retinoid. So we talk so much about retinoids and we know they boost collagen, they help even tone, pigmentation, smooth skin. Um, but in menopausal skin, they can be harder to tolerate. So the hydroxypinacolone retinoate, which is in this, is a really nice gentle retinoid to start with. And what about those menopause specific brands? So I think they really vary in quality. I think the benefit of menopause brands is that it can help people to navigate what they need. But I think it's really important that you're looking for the right sort of ingredients. So look for things like ceramides, niacinamide, all of which can really boost your skin barrier function. Look for high SPF, look for gentle cleansers and rich textures. And so I think it can be very helpful to navigate the whole skincare world, but just make sure that your menopause range has got exactly what you need in it. And you mentioned HRT. What does that do to skin? As a dermatologist, we very seldom advise HRT just for the skin. So HRT is a way of replacing hormones to try and get them back to levels, which mean that women don't have to experience too many negative symptoms during the menopause. I think where the decision whether or not to take HRT is a very personal one for women and is really based on so many other different factors like their individual health, their family history. So that's something really to discuss with a doctor. We think it can help the skin, but it's seldom prescribed just for the skin. So Sue, I hope that answers your question. And for anyone else who is wondering about menopausal skin and the skincare routine around it, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dear Dermatologist. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Times Beauty YouTube channel and we'll see you again next week.